Mukha ba ako mangukulang? Wala. I will be sharing with you my latest purchases. Also, paano ko siya in-style? Kasi I will be showing you guys yung mga try-on clips as well, which I'm really excited about. And stay tuned! Hey guys, kumusta na? This is my channel. I'm in Carl's Rating or Carly Terrier as you all know. Sa mga hindi nakakakilala, I used to be a fashion blogger. And I'm back here to talk about everything about fashion. Kasi naman, yun talaga yung aking interest. So, first na gusto kong ipakita is this um, blistered leather top from Rick Owens. It's from the Dark Shadow line, which is yung ano niya, Diffusion line. So, yan siya. As you can see, um, it's a sleeveless top, medyo mahaba. It's like a tunic, actually. It's a combination of leather and on the back, it's 100% uh, cotton. So very light and dark and heavy in the front. So I love the drama. And the other thing is, um, I enjoy it because you can wear it you know, in a different ways. So, pwede siyang ganyan if you want to hide your um, arms a bit. And then you can, you know, iaangat mo yung drape para, you know, expose your arms. Para may iba rin siyang structure. And another black piece that I just recently got. Um, this one. So, para din siyang tunic. Gusto ko na lang something easy yung mga sinusuot ko. Like back in the day, as you know it, sa vlogging, and dami dami kong abubot, and dami dami belt, accessories. Pero ngayon, it's more about ease and um, comfort, I should say. So, going back, this is also from the Rick Owens Dark Shadow. And, kakasuot ko lang siya last, um, last night or two, two nights ago for a dinner. So, kinawa ko siya sa laundry. <laughs> Medyo, <laughs> trust. So yun siya. And also, ano rin siya? Multi-wear din siya. You can actually wear them back or front. Wala naman tahe na sasabihin, oh, baliktad yung outfit mo. So yun siya. And pwede mo rin siyang style pwede mong iangat na ganyan, expose yung arms, or ibaba mo yung cape. Ito talaga yung Rick Owens look na sumitak siya talaga. Yeah, nice diba? So, hindi lang naman ako mahilig sa black, but sometimes I, um, I'm very open <laughs> with white <laughs> or gray or brown sometimes. Next kung outfit, para siyang Greek goddess vibe. Uh, and again, pwede mo na naman siyang suotin front or back, I think. <laughs> Ayan yung tahi niya. Ang problem ko nung dito, masyado nang manipis. So, makikita niyo rin ulit dito sa clip na parang medyo bakat yung <laughs> atawan ko. Pero anyway, it's summer. And I think this is gonna be a fresh option for summer. Huwag lang sana madumihan kasi very anal ako about yung mga dumidumi sa white or light colored outfits. So yun nga oh, tignan nyo, ang ganda lang ng, ang gara ng pagkakagawa, ang ganda ng pattern. Kasi it comes from the side, and then may layer pa sa loob, and then asymmetrical siya. And as you can see, ayun yung, ang daming layer. Oh, see? Ang ganda. Like nung una ko tong sinuot, parang naloka ako, na parang, like alang, saan yung kamay, saan yung ulo. So yun siya, ang ganda. Yeah, again, sleeveless na naman siya kasi nga, um, paano ba? Mahilig ako mag-jacket din. I don't like exposing my arms or my, you know, my body that much. So, I always have a cover-up or an outerwear. So, this is actually perfect. And, like, the drape siya. So, yun ang pinaka gusto ko. Um, detail kay Rick Owens. There's always, like, drapes. Actually, ngayon, medyo nagiging like rock and roll vibe na yung aesthetic niya. But that's okay. That's how he transitions. But for me, pinaka gusto ko talagang era yung drapey drapey na parang dark goth. Rick Owens. 
and from black, diba? Ito na, shocking. I think it's called Canary Yellow. Okay din siya. Very interesting. I think it's a dress. So, hindi naman, I mean, it's still unisex. Kahit a dress siya. You can wear them with like, um, like a flared pants or like leggings. Kung gusto mo maging um, sexy konti. <laughs> so, sleeveless din siya. And, ang ganda ng pattern. Low neck. And then, sa likod, din yung pattern niya. Asymmetrical din. Medyo, um, drop shoulder yung right. And then, it goes long, longer in the back. And pag suot-suot mo siya, ah, pakikita nyo naman how I wore them. Pag suot-suot mo siya, medyo nag- de-drape siya dito sa gilid. Um, and it's really interesting kasi hindi lang siya straight. Talagang merong drama na nagaganap na nagsisinch yung waist ko. And I like it. It's, I think it's 100% cotton. Um, I'm thinking, pag sinuot ko siya, I'm thinking of wearing them with like a drop crotch pants para hindi naman siya masyadong girly-girly. Not that it's bad, pero ganun lang yung style ko. Gusto ko medyo ano pa rin, androgynous, unisex. Yeah, like a pants or not too skinny pants and then maybe boots. Or even sa summer, medyo pwede ka na mag-flats or gladiator sandals. Again, medyo may pagka-Grecian goddess na naman tong vibes. Kasi nga ang init dito sa Australia, ang sarap lang magsuot ng something fresh and light, pero may drama pa din. Pero, dahil summer na, <laughs> nabili ko siya pre-owned, second-hand. And it's very interesting because it's a down jacket. Well, lumalamig na naman sa ibang part ng bansa, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna show you this. Meron siyang interesting tie on the front. Na pwede mong ganyan-ganyan eh. Pwede mong i-close kung talagang sobrang lamig. Yeah. When, when I wear them, hindi ko naman siya nasasot pa sa labas, pero pag suot-suot ko siya, para akong, um, para akong naka-blanket. It's very comforting and very warm na in-envelope ka lang yan. And on the sleeves, yun yung typical Rick Owens na stretch knit. Yes. And on the back, asymmetrical. Actually, it's called, I think it, they call it waterfall. Like a waterfall jacket pattern. Na parang ganun siya, drapey drapey. And I love the color. I think you can incorporate it with black, you know, or with grays. Um, exploring more colors other than black, like brown, strokes, you know, olive, khaki. Kasi ang ganda lang yan sa mata. And again, siguro, tumatanda na rin. Gusto mo lang easy on the eyes. Gusto mo softer. Kasi pag masyado nang too black, 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 parang nakakapagod tignan. Another piece that I really love, pero very challenging to wear. So anyway, a little background. Um, Loren got me this on my birthday this June. And ang ganda niya. Like, it's a biker jacket. You know, I really love the biker jacket pattern. I think it's very androgynous and, you know, unisex siya. And it's very transitional too. But the thing with this one is I love the color. It's like an olive khaki moss color. And then, ayun yung stitching niya, kitang kita. And it's a sheer fabric. Medyo tight fitting siya around the arms. So it creates that um, drama and texture when you layer it with ano, another top inside. Actually, okay siya. Kung medyo brave lang ako, I can wear it by itself. And then just, you know, a tank top or uh, long pants. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yan yung detail niya. Medyo nag, uh, ano siya da? Ang tawag ito? Medyo nag, sisink siya rin sa waist. So, para, kasi usually ang mga Rick Owens, um, silhouette talagang, it's cinching on the waist. Para nga naman, medyo feminine pa rin. So, dun niya nababalance yung edginess. And if I close it like that, iba ang gara lang. Like that. And then, another, I think this would be the last. Nung una, kala ko lang, para lang siyang normal na tank top. Pero hindi, kasi mayroon din siyang draping, gathering details sa harap. Na parang nag, like, you know, creates that illusion of a sash. 
And then tang tang din siya, very fresh. Yeah, I think I think very easy to straightforward like tank top, but with a really interesting color na para siyang grayish blue, na parang gray. Yeah, I love it kasi kahit blue siya, hindi siya yung super shocking na blue na mahirap ipagayan. Um, strong pa rin sa akin yung influence ng, you know, the minimalist aesthetic na parang monochrome. So, yun pa rin yung gusto ko. So, since this is my first video ever, I'm really hoping that you guys will support me like you did before. So I'm really, really looking forward to share more videos and content. If you guys can just subscribe and click the notification bell. And I'm really, really appreciative of your support all through these years. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's not much, but it will really mean a lot to me. So pag na reach ko yung goal na yon, I will be doing a giveaway. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that's what I I will commit as well to uploading a content or video every week on Saturday. It's from 12 to 4. So, abangan niyo yan, guys. Um, there's gonna be a lot of lineup regarding fashion. Nag-iisip kami nila rin ng mga content. And it's actually really endless. So, para lang ako nag-vlog. Pero yun nga, talking in front of the camera. Pero I'm excited. So, I hope marami kayong matutunan sa channel na to and you know, it's just fun. Just explore your uniqueness, individuality and that's what I'm here for. In the coming weeks, um, I will be doing a lot of like um, fashion reviews, um, new collections, sometimes critic na rin. So I'm really looking forward. I'm also gonna be doing reviews on new designers like Peter Doe, Ludovic, Basically, kaya ako nag-vlog because I think there's a gap as well. Um, maraming vloggers that are talking about fashion, doing lookbooks and styling. Pero wala masyadong into avant-garde designers. Eh. So I think there's a niche on that. And I, like me, like I was on YouTube and I can't find anything. So maybe may mga mananood and may mga appreciate so we'll see kung meron pa yung fashion brands or designers upcoming designers as well na gusto niyo yung review ko comment down below and we'll do my best <laughs> so um ito yung outfit ko ngayon yung mangkukulam outfit <laughs> um no actually this is from Yoji Yamamoto and it's really nice it's really interesting kung may opening siya and then opening here Para siyang, um, like a bat wing almost. And then, ang ganda ng pattern. Meron din siyang butones, so you can close it like that. And I'm also wearing Yang Li, so he's a um, London based Chinese designer. I've been following him ever since 2011 pa, and ang ganda ng pieces niya. You should check him out, Yang Li. And this is from Yoji Yamamoto. It's from his main line, actually. And yeah. I gusto kong fashion. So I hope um may inspire din kayo guys na you know, explore more options. It's not just, you know, the corporate brands na Louis Vuitton, Off-White, ba ba? Prada, Gucci. I know they're all beautiful and magaganda yung craftsmanship nila. Pero there's more to that. So you can always, you know, mix and match Rick Owens maybe, Andy Miller, Mr. Margiela even. Margiela is really wearable if you think about it. Invest on pieces. Um, explore more styles in the fashion. Don't be afraid. Because ako rin noon eh, parang... Sa Philippines pa nga ito, diba? Like, dahil I love fashion so much, mas naintindihan ko yung message ng mga avant-garde designers. So I hope kayo rin, be more open and express yourself. If you reached the end of this video, I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> okay, game. Mukha ba ka mang kukulam with the way I dress? <laughs>